Yo guys, welcome to a special EAFC 25 video where we have 10 things that you may not know about what's happening in EAFC 25. Yeah. You bored of having this stuff? Make it a beast team. With obviously getting yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins and don't forget to use king with a cheeky 6% off right let's get into the video so we got a lot of things to go through on this uh video where we start off with number one which i know a lot of people are not gonna like um yeah uh rage quits are still a thing unfortunately at nil nil so people will pause and quit the only good thing uh mm, yeah, it's not great. The only good thing is about rivals, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yes, rage quits are still a thing, unfortunately. I know it's not going to upset, and it's going to upset a lot of people. Number two is going to be interesting. Custom tactics have been changed. So there is no ultra defensive, defensive balanced attacking, ultra attacking, the original things. Um, so it's FCIQ now. Why this is all, all the new stuff and everything, the new name about tactics. Um, work rates have been changed. They've removed like the high, medium, low. Um, there's now extra. IQ roles as they're calling them again there's a lot to talk about that um, the d-pad tactics have now changed so your directional uh, tactics have been changed so they've got like get in the box uh, attacking full backs hug the sideline extra strikers from 17 I believe 17 or 18 back in the day when we didn't have like the fact like all that we had options now there is extra options so yeah overload set pieces team press offside traps stuff like that gonna be really interesting so uh, it's a lot more advanced this year. So number three, we got rival changes. Yes, a lot of good rival changes, which is good to see. Um, interesting for the first one. Your division depends on how you've got on with SC24. So any of you that got help get into the elite division, you're going to be in trouble for this new game because you'll get shoved into the pro uh, divisions, which is going to be interesting. Um, so just bear that in mind. Uh, relegation is back for division rivals. We rate that. We love that. I know people are still going to use it, but it's a good thing to see that that is back. Uh, points are back instead of um, just winning games. So winning gives you three points. Draw gives you a point. As I said, that's the only good thing about rage quits now. If you're playing rivals and someone quits at nil-nil, at least you're going to get a point. It's better than nothing, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, and obviously, loss gives you zero points. Um, and they have confirmed that there will be better rewards to start off for higher divisions in rivals. So, that's good to see. Will we see monthly rewards back? You never know. So, evolution talk number four. Two evolution slots from day one. Yes. So, you can do multiple evolutions, which is the main thing. Obviously, there is now new... Uh, you can do two evolutions at the moment in FC24, but it's good to see that from the start of FC25, you can do two evolutions at the same time, which is good to see. Um, apparently, there's no expiration date. Don't know about that one, but that's what rumours are. Mm, I wouldn't go 100% about that one. Um, there will, There is less requirements for upgrades, which is good to see, because some of the requirements are just terrible, or they're back to front, um, which is really weird, because I've been doing a few recently. So it's, it's like play the the play like three games and then you have to win four uh, it should be the other way around in my opinion but that's what it is um also stackable evos are going to be back and um, like older evos which most of you couldn't do because there was a certain requirement that wasn't available so you can apparently you can now evo stuff that stackable evos instead of having to wait like three or four months before you can put an older evo into a newer one so that's pretty decent as well number five is an interesting one Professional fouls have now been added. That's going to be interesting. So basically what that means, you get an option now. You can grab a player, tactical foul, pull them back, make them fall over, uh, and then you get an instant yellow card. I mean, I do actually rate that. I mean, technically, they're kind of in the game already, but now there's an actual proper option. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, a lot of people raging because of tactical fouls. Option number six is a dub for me. I rate this one. Goalkeepers have Goalkeeper movement has been nerfed. So it looks like what's going to happen is you can only move, like step one way to the left and one way to the right. It's not completely moving across the whole goal. So that one I'm looking forward to seeing how that gets on. I always thought goalkeeper movement was not really a good thing. Anyhow, I've had to use it and I don't really want to. So 
You're going to have to let me know what you think about that one, but I rate that. Right wing backs, left wing backs, and centre forwards positions have been removed, which is good to see. I don't really think many people have been um, using them that much. So the 4 3 2 1 formation with the centre forwards has been removed. Apparently, the rumours are all they're doing is changing it from centre forwards to cams. That's a rumour, that one, but 4 3 2 1 has definitely been removed, obviously, because there's no centre forwards positions anymore. This is a good one for more substitutions, because obviously we now have five subs. Uh, instead of having seven on the bench, we've, they've now increased it to nine substitutions on the bench, which is a good thing, because obviously you can have five substitutions in the game. It just gives you more options, depends on if you're winning or losing. So I do like that one. It's something that I think they needed to add because of obviously going from three to five and they never increased the subs bench. So I rate that one for me, eh? Number nine is definitely going to be good for a lot of people. Storage for duplicate items has now been added. Finally, you can have up to a hundred items duplicates now. So you get your hundred plate, you get your hundred uh, not normal save items. So like tradable items can go up there and now we get 100 duplicate items as well so we have up to 200 storage rate it from ea another dub in my opinion and the last controversial thing that ea have decided to add is the premium season pass a lot of people at home and are about this a couple of couple of bonuses a couple of things obviously a premium pass in a paid game i know a lot of people not like gonna like that the good thing is apparently you can use coins to buy the premium pass. Uh, another good thing that seems to be floating around is that there's no high level paid items. So let's say the last page, if you, most of you know, the last page of the season pass where we've got like the best of the best, that's not gonna be in the paid tier. That's gonna be completely free. So I rate that one. The more paid tier is based on packs in the lower tiers. So yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what this premium pass is going to be like. Um, I don't think it's going to be massively expensive, so it's going to be an interesting one for that. You're going to have to let me know in the comments below what you think about that one with the premium season pass. I The good thing is, as I said, it looks like you're going to be able to buy it by coins, so yeah. So there we go, 10 things in EAFC 25 that you guys might not know about, and that is part one because there is a lot of extras that they are adding in this game. So I'll see you for part two.